sister right here. I, I forgot your name, sir. Harriet, I want you to come. I want you to come. We'll call on you to pray in a moment. Just be on standby right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Your presence, O Lord. Hallelujah. Wow, Eric. There's something so powerful in you. There's a courage unlike many people. You're such a man of bravery, of courage. That courage comes out of your faith and your confidence in God. In fact, I just see you as a mighty warrior. I see you as a man who has taken the best that the enemy can give and smiled back and said, is that the best you can do? Then you go forward and you pound him into the ground. You are a man who has gone through many trials. And the Lord says, you got the note. You got the grade. Yes. You graduated from that trial and you went on to another and, and you graduated from that. And the Lord said, I've prepared you for very special assignments. You, sir, are a commando in the kingdom of God. You operate behind the enemy lines. You are a man who is able to work without supervision because you know your God. You don't need someone to give you direct orders and direct instruction because you have a line into the heart of God and you can operate behind the enemy's line and you can destroy his infrastructure and you can destroy his territory and you're, you can invent new strategies. Hallelujah. I believe the Lord is saying to you, brother, you are a multiplier of skills. You are a multiplier. There is a multiplying force over you. you. You can take a pad of matches and start a bonfire. You can take a tiny spark and burn down a castle. You can take a screwdriver and you can construct an automobile. You can do little with much because the Spirit of God is on you and I called you to operate in the anointing of a warrior, in the anointing of a, of a commando to go into dark places where others cannot go because you are not afraid because you know that God. I see the heart of that man. I don't know who he was. But when David said, I'm thirsty, I would like to drink of water. And there was a valiant man. There was a brave man who fought his way all the way to the well and back just to give his king a drink of water. And the Lord said, you're a man that when Jesus says, I'm thirsty, you will go to the gates of hell. Don't your Lord and drink the and so that anointing, we confirm in you, and we affirm in you, and we thank God yes, for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, boy. You are Eric, and there is no other. You are Eric, the Son of God. You are Eric, and there is no one quite like you. So God has called you and set you aside. Now be brave. Yes. Lord, we come against the spirit of discouragement. In Jesus' name. We come against the temptations that fell on Samson. In Jesus' name. Because there were, here was another great man, a great warrior that was Samson. So right now, we wrap around you the, uh, uh, the barrier of protection. And the temptations of Samson will not touch you. Be careful. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And walk in holiness and walk 
walk in a deity and your anointing will increase. Thus say the Lord. Yes. Amen. Now we want to pray for this woman. Yes. That's why I wanted. That's where's Mary in that? Yes. That's why I want you. I want you to come pray for this lady. Because Eunice, I feel like God gave you something when he gave you this man. But he gave something to you as well. So, sister, lead us in this prayer. We must shine, for out of this womb, out of this womb, out of this is the destiny of many nations. Out of this womb is a prayer of many nations. Out of this womb is a vision of many nations. So Father, out of this well, out of this well shall come rivers of living water, O oh God. Rivers of living water, my God. Out of this womb, Jehovah God, there's a fountain, there's a fountain, my Father. Oh, let it be your son. 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 Yes. yes, your mouth shall speak great things. Yes, your mouth shall speak great things uh -huh. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will speak in faith and it will come to pass. Amen. You will speak in faith and it will come to pass. You Amen. are not shy, you are not timid, you are not small, but you are great in the hands of God. Yeah. You are a mighty yeah. vessel in the hands of God. So rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I break any cast on this woman's life in the name of Jesus Christ. From Asheria, my God, any initiations in the name of Jesus Christ, from the line of ancestry, in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, I speak to you right now, and I put a line of demarcation around this family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak of Jezebel, we have against you right now, in Jesus' name. And we say, no more, no more, no more. You cannot take this family, you cannot take this family. I want to I want to take these girls. I just felt something really special with these females here. Come come along here, girls. What's your name? Francesca. Okay. I want you to just touch them. Take each one of you. Take one of your mama's hands. And Eric, would you just put your hand up? That's sons. Where's the son? Okay, come on here, son. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This is not an individual assignment. This is a family That's right. anointing. This is a family assignment. Yes. There is a warrior father. There is a nurturing mother. There are beautiful daughters who have special gifts. And I see art and beauty in them and coming through them. And here is a young man who has a great future, and I see out of him coming things that will amaze people. I just see sports on him. I see science in him. I see languages coming out of his mouth, and I see all of this family together exploring new strategies and going into new territory to do things no one ever dreamed could be done in Great Britain as a family. You will minister from family to family. And God will bring to you many families who are broken. And you as a family, even this youngest daughter, will bring 
people to you, young girls her age, and that will open doors for God to heal entire families. I see God healing entire streets, everyone on the street using this family, and new things will happen in the name of Jesus. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Kids, I bless you. The Lord has a great plan for you. You're part of what God's doing. This is not just mom and dad. This is about you too. And we bless you in the name of Jesus. We came in contact in the year 2008. The time when peer pressure was taking my daughter away. When you realize that the girl's dad was a pastor, and we met, the bound took place that day. It never occurred to me that through Living Time Ministry, that huge ministry, that pastoral niche, which was undiscovered, will be discovered. Today we all give glory to God yes. that that is unveiled Amen. and that God is taking you into your destiny. Amen. I anoint you into that destiny. Amen. Amen. Move Amen. in the direction of God. Amen. And the Holy Spirit, your comforter, will comfort you through the thing and the thick of that journey. Amen. Amen. I anoint you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Praise God. Eric Bullohan, it's with uh, great delight that we issue you this certificate of ordination. It's just paper in a frame, but representing every grace and anointing that God put on you and chose for you when you were in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. This day is bestowed. 